gentlemen, this is the first match of Mountain Mania 2009 for Steel Town Pro Wrestling. This is Ron McLean. And joining me as color commentator is Jaron Rose. Glad to be here, big guy. Mountain Mania, it's going to be a wild one. That's right, we've got a six-man on six-man tag team match as the first match of the evening. in Stony Mountain, Manitoba. There's so many men in the ring, I can barely see the ref. Well, here we go. It looks like we're going to get uh, down. We got Reggie Gallagher, and it looks like Doom will be the first man in on his team. Well, Jaron Rose, what do you think of this two to start this one? They absolutely love him. Now let me tell you, Billy Blaze, Reggie Gallagher's former RCW Tag Team Champions, and here we go, Doom and Gallagher to hook it up. Now Gallagher's originally from Calgary, Alberta. I do believe he is making his home now in Winnipeg. However, I'm not sure about this Doom character. Do you know anything about him? Can't say that I do. I mean, uh, usually when he talks, he doesn't talk very much. Yeah, you'd figure, you know, a guy would talk behind a mask, can't hear very well, and he must not have anything, anything too important to say. And I guess, really, he doesn't want to say too much right now, either. Whoa! He's got one-mindedness. He's uh, always looking to hurt people. And there's Reggie Gallagher dishing out the hurt to Doom. And here comes Shadow Extreme. Reggie Gallagher and Shadow are doing some double-teaming on Doom. And a big leg lariat. And Shadow Extreme's going for the pin. Oh, only gets that two count. Oh, and Doom is in the driver's seat now. Man, that doom, when he starts wailing away on people, you know you're going to feel it. And oh, oh Shadow Stream is on the receiving he's end of a... tagging Cliff Corleone. These are two big, men, upper 300-pound mark. When Cliff, these men hit oh. you, oh, you know you've been hit. Oh, my God. That was just horrible. I don't know. It's, it's, oh, man, he's back up and back down. That's Shadow to Extreme. Takes uh, a lick in. And here we've got bad boy Brian Jewell coming in. Oh, you know this is going to be a, just a and recipe a for big pain. boot to the face. Shadow Extreme is in a world of hurt. They've cut off the ring from all of his tag team partners here. Well, you got to admit, that's a bunch of veterans there in that corner. And Brian Jewell is going to use uh, every, two every amount shots. of leeway that he can get. Speaking of leeway, he just leveled a... Corleone's back in the His ring. Big Cliff. Right in that groin Big Cliff. Of this is going to hurt. This is going to be a pain painful look at that. Oh, and here comes Billy Blaze. Billy Blaze. Billy Blaze has had enough of this. But he, uh, he needs to, Big Cliff he needs suckered to him that time. Get it under control. He needs to get it under control. And the ref is losing control. The ref is losing control. Everybody's in the ring. The we, only got one out. we got a Donnie Brook. We got a Donnie Brook. Everybody. They're all paired up. Instead of a tag team match, this is starting to look more like a battle royal. Here comes Sickle from on Reggie Gallagher. We got guys at the Red Eagles. Doom. Doom. Reggie Gallagher Basties going down. out. Here comes Reggie Gallagher. And only 24-7 was in the ring. Now we've got... Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not, not sure, sure if that's Mr. On. Big Gulp oh or Nacho Slurpee. And he's going up. He's going up. He's going up. He's going up. Look out. Look out. Oh. Big flying splash to the outside. And Action you will only see here live in SPW Wrestling. And the only one standing is Nacho Slurpee. Unreal. Unreal. At least I think it's Nacho Slurpee. Sydney Manson is being taken right back into the ring hard. Oh. 
Looks like he's out of it. Brian Jewell, he's knocking man down. Brian we got Jewell total chaos. Plays. Oh, a chair shot, a chair shot. Oh, Things are out of control here. Shadow Extreme and garbage boom. can. Oh, man. Shadow Extreme and Doom are in the ring, but Mitch Nightmare is also in the ring. How are you able to keep track of what the heck's going on here? I don't know. I just what call it when I finally here? see something organized. Oh, there's... Oh, Mitch Nightmare is now on the receiving end of some punishment by Doom. And a big, oh, a big sidewalk, sidewalk slam. Big slam. Big That's what's going on. Two, two three. three. And this oh. one's over. This one's... Oh, it was no. only two count. A two count. A two count. A two count. I was for sure that was three, but I guess the refs uh, made it pretty clear. Yeah, it was he does two. have a better angle. He does have a better angle. In comes hard, Nightmare the hard way. And Mr. Nasty's in control. This is not looking good for Nightmare. That was not Nightmare. That was Shadow Extreme. Oh, Shadow I'm sorry. Extreme. You're right. You're right. My apologies. My Big apologies. double elbow. Big Cliff and Mr. Nasty teaming up on Shadow Extreme. And now Mr. Nasty. Nasty. Blow! Big choke Big choke slam. He's not getting up from that. Billy Blaze saved it. Billy Blaze saved it. That's the second pin attempt that Billy Blaze has stopped. Oh, big spear. Big, big spear. spear. Big spear. One, two. Oh, oh, and Big Cliff broke up that pin. Whoa, inside out, Billy Blaze. Cliff Corleone's laying out. Big Billy Blaze. This could be it. This could be all. Oh, it looks like Nacho Slurpee is behind Big Cliff. What Nacho is he doing? Slurpee, Nacho what Slurpee. Is he? Oh, oh, oh. Billy Blaze with the big One, super kick. Two, two three. Yeah. And there we go. Nacho Slurpee gets the pinfall Did over Big Cliff. Did you see that super kick? Billy Blaze kicked Cliff Corleone's head right off. And that's just the first match of the evening. Do we know how to bring in Mountain Mania or what? I'm Mark Merrick. I'm new here in SPW, and apparently Sergeant Tom Steele is coming out and he's going to fight me. I've never been to boot camp, I've never been to jail, I've never been arrested before. So a sergeant doesn't scare me. I am better than the best, period. Just look at the man. He just wants to fight. He just does not want to have a good time. He's look beating up the turnbuckle pad. That. He's ready to go. And now, this is going to be good. Mark Merrick. Mark Merrick. Mark Merrick, the new lamb being fed to the being fed to the lion here in Sergeant Tom Steele. And we're just about ready to get underway here. We're just waiting for the ref to call for the bell. And we're gonna get underway here at Mountain Mania as uh, 
big r TB hump here, checking out the two competitors. And it oh, looks hey, like, it looks like he's here we go, here we go. We're just gonna have to just ring in the bell. Match underway. Here we go, Sergeant Tom taking it to the young man. Uh, we got him. He's doing choke. Didn't even give the kid a chance to you know get patted down by the ref. You know, Absolutely stretch out. Absolutely not. Attacking from behind, and you don't want to hear that. Sergeant Tom comes from behind. No, that's what that. kind of a man is that? Any guy that comes from behind is a, is a dirty, dirty man. That's for you sure. Know, and, and I guess that's all we can say about Sergeant Tom Steele. He's bald. He ain't beautiful, and he's just a dirty, dirty man. But I don't, you know I don't think Sergeant Tom has ever been beautiful. You know, I got to say, you know, all laughing aside, all jokes, bam. Oh, he ripped the kid's head right off. The man means business, you know. Sometimes you, gotta, you try to bring a little humor, but not around a guy like Sergeant no. Tom. There's a lot of veterans coming back here, and a lot of new faces coming into Steel Town Pro Wrestling. You got dirty guys like Sergeant Tom Steele, who's using the rope right now. Oh! Trying to decapitate the kid, choking him out right now. That is going to leave a mark. Did you see the way that kid's... Is he, is he bleeding from the mouth? Man, he got hit there bad. Oh, man. Absolutely, he was laid out by Sergeant Tom, and I don't think he knows what day of the week it is. I have no, no I don't think he does. Maybe trying to get some of the crowd behind him. You know what I think I'm going to do next time there's a show, I'm going to check out SteelTownProWrestling.ca and see all these write-ups on these guys like Sergeant Tom Steel, Mark Merrick. Just to uh, get a bit of a more understanding about where just, these guys are coming from. Just like, so as you know, ladies and gentlemen, SPW.ca, the hottest in independent pro wrestling in Canada today. You got all the stars here in the ring, stars in the future that are coming through, and old stars. Ow! I think uh, Mark Merrick just made the biggest mistake. He, you know, he was talking to him, That's believed what uh, Sergeant Tom Steele was saying to him. Now he's paying for it. That's the rookie. That's the one who just doesn't know that a man like Sergeant Tom Steele yeah. cannot be trusted. The scowl on Sergeant Tom Steele's face. You know, he's. An, I, I, I hate to say this about people, but he is an ugly man. And I didn't think he could get any uglier, but he's got that scowl on his face that just makes him even uglier of a person. You know, I would almost suggest the man should walk around with a mask. I mean, seriously, he goes around with that kind of a kisser. No wonder he's in a bad mood. He's big, bad, and ugly. And he'll decimate oh. his opponent like he's doing this Mark Merrick. Look at that. Okay, Merrick, uh, I don't know, but it's not looking good for you, kid. No. You're going to have to make something here. Come on, man. I think we got five minutes gone here in the match, and I don't know if he's... Oh, oh here we got the big splash. I don't know if he's done one thing. Two. And three. it's over. Your winner, Sergeant Tom and your winner, Sergeant Tom Steele, against the new guys. And he's, he's not he even finished. He's choking him out he after here? the bell. This is the kind of thing that we don't need here in SDW, you know? Ref has to break this the up. young kid, he's just trying to, you know? He's trying to make a name for himself here. And he doesn't need this kind of thing. He doesn't need... Reverse he's decision. He's reversing the decision. He's reversing he's the decision. The ref just reversed the decision. Wayne Stanton, the announcer has, has to be told that it was a reverse decision. The referee has disqualified Sergeant Tom Steele. He's still choking him out. We need some help out here. You know, look at that. He just just kicked him in the groin. This is this is getting out of control.
explain. Many people have asked what would happen if a man got into the ring with a woman, who would win? We are going to find that out right now. Introducing your first contestant, he is from Mexico City, Mexico, at a weight of 220 pounds, Filano number six. Grab yourself a taco and take the next train back to Mexico. Thank you very much for coming out. She is the NWA Supergirls champion at a weight of 105 pounds to Neil Taylor. This is to Neil Taylor. Lano number six, well, demanding referee. This match, the last referee was injured. We're gonna make Jaron Rose, I don't know what to do to here. We have to send a message. We just called down from the music table. Man. We called down for a referee. The referee will be here. I will double check. Here's Delano number six What's running in his mouth, thinking he's going to beat. We got Pierre North, North, the senior referee here in SPW. Been called in, TV hump, he may be uh, a member of the Castrati right now. Yeah. And here comes Viano, he's going to have to be putting down that, that kendo stickage. Ruben, he's a big man coming in there with a big stick, trying to... Trying I, I, to take on a woman, maybe he's trying to make up for his lack of... Manhood? Could be. I'm glad you said that. I didn't say anything. It was it was the wall here, well, Jared. I didn't say anything myself. Okay. It looks like it looks like yeah, they're calling for the bell, and here we go. We're underway here. He's already running out of the ring. You know. We got Daniel Taylor. She's standing in the ring, strong. We got Del Delano number six. Viano. 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 That's more Italian it, than Mexican, but you know, it's like villain, but with an O. Villano. I, I'm not Villano. sure. Here we go. Oh, there, we go. Okay. there we go. There's a hookup. We got him working the arm here. And it's a nice, nice top wrist. Oh, nice quick oh, reverse oh. here. Oh, ho. girl knows her stuff. She's outweighed here by what was it, a hundred pounds? She she is giving up. Oh, 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 oh ho, ho, ho! Hey, that was low, low. Hey, uh, we got hey. a roll, kip up. Oh, a nice reversal. Oh, took him down. Took him down right onto his back. Rev asking if uh, Volano number six here wants to quit. Now 
Now, Viano taken back control, and it'll, you, you see he's using every underhanded trick, everything, breaking the rules, making sure the ref ain't seeing it, but he's breaking the rules all the way through. Oh, nice, nice shoulder tackle. Take down. Now we got Volano flexing and posing. We got to go over and... Oh, a nice, nice arm drag. Arm drag and another one. Thank you. Oh, oh a drop, drop kick. kick. And, and he scoots out of the ring. Coming out. Yeah, Volano's taking off now. He's had enough of this. Grabbing a chair. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. And Pierre North, the Pierre veteran North referee here, catches that. that before it even touches he the mat. Ain't having none of that. who doesn't want to be looking at Sergeant Tom Steele's breasts. You know, come on, somebody, SDW, if you're listening out there in Internetville, we need a woman's we should have a, We should have a poll. You know, we got the tag team just coming in, tag team champ, tournament supposedly coming in, but I think on SteelTownForWrestling.ca we should have a new poll set up. Okay, be honest, Caroline. Like, I, I can say I, I'm a single guy. I'd love to... A few things in that ring. Oh, I don't. I don't know oh, where right, you're going right, with that. Yeah. Ring. Yeah. Right. In the. You bet. You know. Oh, hey, we got pulling the hair. I, I hate it when they pull the hair. I don't. I, I used to have long hair like you, Jared. Ooh. And th that's partly the reason why I cut it because you know you got dirty guys like Lano here oh, stepping on it. Oh. Did you see that? I think you might. Broke on four, so we got her. Oh, that was a hard slam down on the mat. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, my goodness. That must have been. Oh, a big leg drop and missed. Well, she's showing what yeah. she's champ. Yeah, she's outsmarting him. Looks like she's been powering up, getting the crowd Get the, Yeah. Big clothesline. A nice elbow. Nice elbow. Oh, oh showing the man whipping. a thing or two. Reversal and. Oh, no. Head scissor takedown. He was going for a sidewalk slam and she reversed it into a head. This girl head scissor. pulls out the moves from my I am speechless, Jared. I am speechless like usual. Oh, a nice flying crossbody up the top. Oh, roll through. Roll through. That clothesline. Oh, 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 nice oh, nice stiff for him. See that? Oh, he three knocked count. him back to Mexico. Oh. Sexy Plexi, Alex Plexus, is making a tour to prove that I'm not just a smoking hot piece of meat, but I'm the best cruiserweight in Western Canada. And how convenient that I can waltz into Steel Town Pro Wrestling and wrestle you, Sombra, for that provincial title. I'm going to make a little promise to all the Plexclamation marks out there that I will be leaving Stony Mountain with that belt around number seven and eight of the sexiest ads in sports entertainment. And I'm going to take that 10 pounds of gold right back to Balzac, Alberta.
Alex Places, you want to get on your plane? You want to fly over here? You want to tell the people how you have the ass of steel, the ass of gold? That's right, you can tell them whatever you want. But I have the SVW apps and also the SVW provincial title. You could grate cheese on this apps. You could grow to be an actual man. And when you decide to do your own laundry, you could come over and do your laundry on this apps. But let me tell you something, I will give you the benefit of the doubt and you can get in that ring with me tonight and try to beat me for my SVW title. And until you do, I still remain to be the world's smallest wrestler, La Sombra. Alberta by way of Hooker Creek, Oregon. Are you sure it wasn't from Solar Plexus, Alexis, Texas? No, that's Hannah, Montana. Yeah. Find a 
a shorter shirt to wear, that's for sure. That is a pretty silly shirt. I mean, you know, and did he just kiss Anna Montana? He did. I believe he just did. And, and it wasn't even a real, it was just a picture on a shirt. Like, seriously, kid, love your solar plexus, hate your taste in women. They're not even real. Okay, but back in the ring, one. A nice two. roll up. Ooh. Then we got kicked out of the pen. Out. Out. Oh, a nice. Another one, two. That was just a one. Look at the speed of the Sombra. Oh, just man. fast. He's got this. I don't know. How many, how many pins was that? One. How many pin, pinfall attempts was that? Four or five? What, what wow. You, you blink your eye. You, you can't count how many times Sombra will try and beat you in a match. Just that little back. Oh. 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 He just dropped Sombra's neck right clean across that top rope. Did you see the way his neck snapped? Did you see that? Yeah, I did. Then I... That, that, that's horrifying. Wow. Lex is taking it to the trying to fire this crowd up behind him. Uh, Raph's got to stop those right woozy. hands. Yeah, he's looking woozy. Huh? Oh, float over DDT. Nice DDT. Trying to get that, just that little bit of a break, that little bit of sec oh. separation. I hope Sommer uses this the standing 10 count to get a little bit of air back and poop himself here. Absolutely. We're going to six. Let's hope they get up. So ref can stop can actually stop it at eight. Somber feeding him up. Oh, big shoulder big tackle. Shoulder that was like a hawk shoulder tackle. Yeah, 
Absolutely. Little hawk, but you know. And it looks like the man from. Where? Look at his spinning heel kick. He's, El he's, Salvador. He's he's absolutely. No, no, I mean balls boring. Go ahead. Lexus is useless. But useless Sombra. Oh, he looks like he's going this for the Sombra bomb. This is it. This is it. Oh, he blocked oh, he that one. Blocked. That was a oh. hole. Sombra's face ram right into that mat there. Plexus flexed his uh, solar plexus to block that Sombra bomb, but uh, Alexis Plexus flexing his solar plexus. Say that five times fast. Oh my goodness gracious. I couldn't even say that once. You never can tell what's going to happen in the world of Steve. I don't know what he's going for. Oh, Whoa. super kick attempt nice there. Nice block. Oh, look, let's see what's going to happen. Is he going for the Sombra bomb again? And three. Oh, he hit that one. Two and three. That was a three. He hit that one, nothing but Sombra Bomb on that one. Alright, let's go down and see what Ike Idol has to say about his match with Dan Myers. You can check out all the all the news and events on this. SealtownProWrestling.ca November 19th, 2009. SPW's Mountain Mania in Stony Mountain, Manitoba. Ike Idol is now in the heavyweight title contenders list. Who's in my way? Superfly Danny Myers. Guess what, Danny? I am not going to stop here. I'm going to use you as a stepping stone to the top. I've had gold before and I'm going to get it again. And there's nothing you can do about it. Star. La Sombra. The following contest will be one fall. Introducing first, he is the past provincial champion. This is the man that La Sombra beat to win the title. He's an angry man at a weight of 200 and... I actually don't know too much, but here we go. And now introducing... Are you sure that microphone's plugged in with the, the box there? And now introducing his opponent at a weight of only 231 pounds from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, the Canadian Idol, Danny Myers! Tom, where are you from, big guy? I'm from Fort K. Fabe, USA, brother. And not only that, but this Dan Myers, he's come a long way to get a beating. I'm telling you right now, Ike Idol is going to take this kid and uh, beat his head in. And this match is underway. You know, I got I to gotta tell you, he, that uh, Ike Idol, he is, a, he is a wily ring vet. Ike Idol, he is going to play with this punk's head as much as he can. This kid doesn't know Ike Idol from a hole in the ground. You know, I don't know. You got to say he, that Dan Myers, he is well put together. Let's see what he can give. Let's see what we can get here. And a nice tie-up, a nice lock-up. 
Well, an outhouse, an outhouse is well put together, brother, but you know what it still smells like. Well, you know, that might be true, but come on, this is supposed to be a family show here. Let's get in on the action here. And a big reversal and a whip up, through, and whoa-oh! Big hip toss. Looks like Ike might have uh, been, whoops, uh, taken off just a little bit more than he could chew there. Oh, he didn't know that man could work. Don't worry about Ike out of there, my friend. Ike Otto will get out of this. He is a wily veteran in that ring, and this is just a little uh, little stepping stone for him right now. Ike Idol wears a dress. You, you have to worry about a man I who wears a tell skirt. You right now, having Scottish descent, it's not a dress. It's a kilt. Do you ever tell a Scotman that he's wearing a dress? You're in for a fight you haven't uh, you haven't seen before. Well, I'll, I'll tell you. I'll just, I won't tell him. I'll just say it behind his back. He's still wearing a dress. Well, that's the, that's the way you, you that's the way you do things, right, Jaron Rose? You talk behind people's backs. You know, one now, day, now, one day, that's going to come back and bite you in the ass. Now, come on. All, all kidding aside. All kidding aside. Let's get to, let's get into the ring action here. We got Ike Idol. He's he's really trying to take control here, but this Myers, he knows what he's doing. This boy, he ain't no newbie. Boom, and back in control. It's a good way to get out of that uh, scissor hold. But basic, solid, fundamental pro wrestling, right to the headlock, and look at how he's just torquing the neck. Idle, fighting his way back up to his feet here. But getting to his feet, that's the key point. Very true, but he still has not maintained any type of control here. I, I gotta say, Dan Myers has been dictating the pace. So far, so good, but you know what? Ike Idle has been known to be playing possum. Yeah, possum. Cheating, you mean. See? See? Oh, I think See? he's hurt, Jared. I think he's hurt. You know? Oh. Looks wow. like Ike Idle taking that was, control uh, here. That was something. That was something. I saw something on the way here. Out of Kyle Fields. Didn't quite look like that, but... Aren't those called prairie oysters? I, that, something like that. Oyster patties? I don't know. Something like that. Big okay. slam. You Canadians got weird, uh, weird sayings for stuff. Absolutely, them Canadians. Big oh. leg drop by Ike Idol. You're only going to get a one count. He's got to work on the man a bit. You know, he can't go right to the... You know, right to the pin, he didn't expect anything, but uh, you know, I, I do see you on it. Make Reversal. the man expend some energy and big drop toe hold. Ho oh, ho, right to the no nozzle. Nozzle? Nose. For those of you who aren't chisel. Chisel grizzle. Nice eye rake by Ike Idol. You see, and that's what I'm talking about. Ike Idol goes right. Does he break a rule? He sees it. He doesn't just break but a rule. But he right didn't break over. the rule. The referee, the referee didn't even acknowledge that he was breaking a rule. You know. So it must be legal. You know, I gotta say, it's probably, you know, that green dye in the ref's hair, getting through to his brain. Oh, whoa! Three, whoa. three chops. Whoa. Big boot to the gut. Looks like uh, Ike Idol is going to be in the ring there with someone who can dish it out as well as he can take Ike it. Ike Idol reverses, ducks the clothesline, comes back with a big elbow. And here we go. Oh, that looked like it hurt the inner thigh. Huge drop kick by Dan Mayers. One, two, and... Idols. Ah, he kicked out. You got that kick out, you bet. You know, it seems like Ike Idol, since he's lost that title, he's not doesn't have that viciousness that he had in him when uh, he had that title. No, no, I I gotta I would have to agree with you. You know, maybe it was the loss to losing to La Sombra. I mean, how do you get over losing to one of the littlest guys on the roster, you know? <laughs> and you wear a dress? I mean, you know. I wouldn't you know. You know. Jared, you, 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 you got to stop with the dress remarks because you know what? That's going to come just, back I, at you. I'm just, I'm, come on. You know, like, it's all in that, that, that's, it's, that's, it's, it's racial. You know, that's a racial slur against know, Scottish people, and I, I don't find that very humorous. You, you know, I, come on, come on. It's all in fun. Would you make fun of Look, a Sikh oh, turban? Oh, oh, did you see, did you see that? That uh, was a beautiful move by Ike. What and you got a three chip. count from it. What's you got a, a three chip. count from it. Idol. Right in the mush. Did you see that? Mountain Mania. It's me. It's Chi Chi Cruz.
I've got a lot to prove tonight. This is Stony Mountain, Manitoba, home of Manitoba's biggest penitentiary. And when I'm done, that's where you're going, Chichi Cruz. We're going to lock you up forever, you old man. I'm going to defeat you. You may be a Canadian wrestling legend, but tonight I defeat you as I go on to fulfill my destiny. And that destiny is the SPW Heavyweight Title. All right, Marius, so I have to wrestle you in order to get my title shot with Rob Stardom. So be it. It'll happen. You see, I caught what you were saying about me. And the fact of the matter is, you sound a little nervous. <laughs> you sound a little nervous. And you see, I, I don't quite get what's going on with the whole deep, dark, goth vampire thing. To me, you just look like a homeless transvestite. So what I'm going to do to you is go through you. And yes, I know, Rob Stardom, he's going to be a factor in this match. So I got my eyes open. And you better believe Chi Chi Cruz is going to be on the top of his game. Sylvania, the mysterious Marius. He's got his hands full tonight. And is here tonight in Stony Mountain at a weight of 238 pounds, the sensational Chi Chi Cruz. Chi Cruz and his uh, efforts to get the TRCW title is uh, high on the list of priorities for Marius because uh, Rob started being Marius' mentor. I'm pretty sure that Marius is looking to impress him yet again. Well, Chi Chi Cruz does have to worry about the outside of the ring and the inside of the ring tonight there, Ron. I'm telling you right now, and uh, I believe Chi Chi Cruz has been uh, informed of the way Marius and Rob Stardom do work. And uh, the way they work, as far as I'm concerned, is, uh, is a great tag team. Yeah, they've always got each other's backs, which does make for a great tag team. And they know how to bend the rules. That's right, they bend them, they don't break them, brother. They're only broken if the ref catches them, is that true? That is true. And you're no stranger to that tactic, and uh, I imagine every chance you've got, you're, uh, you're lending your advice to uh, competitors such as them and uh, giving them something to work more towards uh, refining their team efforts, so to say. Yeah, Gigi Cruz being a veteran, starting to psych out Marius. And there's the bell and uh, some more bat trash talking by Chi Chi Cruz. Chi Chi Cruz. Uh... Well, Marius is in with 
a whole lot of talent there, uh, Ron. I'm telling you right now, Marius does have his hands full. But like I said before, he told me, he assured me that uh, this is this match is in the bag. There's going to be no problem here. Yeah, it looks like uh, a bit of reversal of situation here. Usually Marius is the one getting under the skin of his opponent. And Chi-Chi Cruz looks like he's already done that. Well, like I said, Chi-Chi being, uh, I don't know, 20 plus years in the ring, that kind of psychology doesn't work very well with him nowadays. Uh, he can see through it and uh, he knows how to dish it out. And here we've got Chi-Chi leading the crowd in a chant of, you suck. Geared towards Marius, and Chi-Chi can't be happier. He's just nodding his head. His plan is working perfectly. Absolutely, Marius is getting very angry, and this is where he might make a mistake. And I'm pretty sure Rob Stardom isn't far away watching this development. And, uh, Chi Chi Cruz working up, working up that crowd. This crowd is just electric. They turned the volume up at least three times higher than they had it. Mayor is getting ready for uh, Chi Chi's attack there. And it looks like we're ready for a lock up here. Oh, oh, test of strength. Test of strength. I think uh, Marius might be uh, quite overmatched with that. No! Oh! And another trick by Cheech. Cheechy Cruz quickly takes it into a hammerlock and... <coughs> and a slap on the butt. Yeah, and the mind games continue. Cheechy is just putting a lesson in Marius here. Marius is usually the one getting in the head of his opponent, and I think, uh, like you said, you know, uh, Marius was watching tapes of Cheech, and I'm pretty sure Cheech was uh, doing some scouting of Marius. Absolutely, but like I said, I mean, he's a veteran in that ring. Psychology is one of his, one of his, uh, in his repertoire, hugely. I mean, uh, Cheechy Cruz has battled with the best. Yeah, he's physically capable, and now he's uh, making fairly efficient use of the mind games. And another taunt by the crowd on Marius, calling him Scaredy Cat. Now it sounds like there Marius... Go, hook up, back into a hammerlock. I would say Marius is off his game tonight. It looked like he was actually trying to prove something to the crowd, something I haven't seen him do before. That's right, he rushed into that, not thinking, and uh, that's what happens there, Ron. And Chi-Chi's got that hammerlock tied in. There is no reversing a hammerlock like that. He's that got a That is in lock. tight. That is in tight. Chi-Chi Cruz, one of the most adept scientific wrestlers uh, in professional sports today. Yeah, he had buried his head into the side of Marius and... Oh Big my. head stand. There's showing some agility on the part of Chi-Chi Cruz. Chi-Chi Cruz float over and then... Now there he goes, Chi-Chi Cruz working the crowd up. Making Marius look like an idiot. Not only has Marius been upshowed by uh, Cheech in the uh, mind games arena, now he's being technically schooled as well. Marius better change his game plan very quickly if he has any chance in this. Top wrist lock. Marius with an eye rake. And I guess if it's going to work, he's going to use it at this point. Big boot to the gut, forearm to the head. Another boot into the gut, forearm to the head. Big chop. I don't know, that second kick looked a little low, and it uh, looked like Cheech got some good height off that kick. Another chop. Now, now Marius is using the ring to his advantage. I guess if he can't win at the mind games, he can't win in the technical field. You may as well go to what you know works best. That's right, and it seems to be working there, Ron. It seems to be working. Gigi Cruz fighting right now, fighting for his life, if you will. And Another big stomp to the chest. 
And you know what? With all those tactics that Cheech was using, which, uh, you know, with the mind games and everything, he didn't even bend the rules any. Big forearm across the back. Which I guess if you're willing to go beyond the, uh, the limits of your opponent, you're going to beat them. And Marius is uh, pulling out the cheat book now. Now well, he did say he has this into the bag. What? Drop toe hold into that. Guillotine on the ropes. Marius with a nice flying uh, butt to the neck there while he's on the rope. And a nice Russian leg sweep, uh, probably the first technical move I've seen him do. Well, make no bones about it, Marius is a tactical wrestler. He just likes to go the other route. I guess uh, cheating is a tactic as well. And now it's at, that's a nice tight sleeper hold on Cheech. I guess if you put him to sleep, he can't do much. That's very true. Oh, and Cheech is feeling the energy. That, yeah, he's trying to get that crowd pumped up behind him. Marys has got that in deep. And I know that in your career, uh, you haven't had much to do with uh, fan support, but I know that uh, you've seen it rally many a uh, many wrestler back from the brink. How, do, how important do you think that is? Big job. How important would you say uh, being able to draw off the crowd's energy is in a match like this? Well, it all depends if, if, you, if, if, you, if you rely on the crowd and the crowd is hot, man, I'll tell you, that can give you all the energy you want. But if that crowd is, doesn't really care, man, you, that, 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 that's the uh, line between winning and losing, brother. Yeah, and it looks like the crowd cares about Cheech. Cheech is just unloading a series of fists right between the eyes. No, well, he's, he's playing tit for tat, brother. And the ref didn't even start a count on that. And a big chop just lit up Marius. Gigi Cruz getting back to business. Another big chop. And it looks like Marius is set to be chopped in every corner here. Marius doesn't know whether he's foot or horseback. He's completely out of it there. He's out on his feet. Big whip into the corner. Ah, oh, here comes Cheech with a head of steam. Oh! Oh, he knocks the ref out. Marius pulled the ref in the way, and the ref got a big form Gigi. across the nose. Cheechy making sure the ref's okay. Uh, wake him up. And just like you called it earlier, here comes Rob Stardom. Oh, it looked like Cheech got the, the edge of the belt right in the trachea there. And three, Marius wins the match. And if you're willing to do whatever it takes, that's what you get to win. Darren Rose, you're wrestling tonight. Really crazy, Rob Stardom, the TRCW heavyweight champion. And let me tell you something there, my little son. I'm the champion for one reason and one reason only, because I am the man. I am the best, and tonight, you long-haired freak, I'm going to beat you one, two, three, and send you back to hippie land where you belong. Who's your daddy? Boom! Right here, the seventh member of Guns N' Roses, Axl Rose and Shannon Doherty's love child, Jaren Rose, is here to tell ya. Rob Stardom, I'm coming for your title. TRCW Championship, TRCW Heavyweight Champion, Jaron Rose. You're looking at him. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for our number one referee, the home. The following two matches are both championship matches. The main event will be for the Steel Town Pro Wrestling Championship. That will be this championship. The next match is for the top rope 
Championship Heavyweight Belt. Introducing first the champion at a weight of 242 pounds. He is from uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. He is a mad dog, a rabid dog, rabid dog, Rob Stardom. Blood is thicker than water, brother, and I'll tell you, these two are thick. Challenger from Pleasant Valley, Arizona, the wild child, Jared order pretty quick on and uh, making sure each opponent is in their corner. I don't understand how Jared Rose even got a title match against Rob Stardom. Well he is ranked quite high in the SPW heavyweight standings and I'm sure that that's how he made it. If I remember correctly, the top four contenders for the heavyweight title would be Ike Idol, Chi Chi Cruz, you and yourself, Sergeant Tom. That's Smith? right, I am one of those contenders. And let me tell you something wrong, I've been out of this business for a long time and I'm coming back and I'm coming back big time. Now I'll tell you what. Rob Starton keeps that belt, and he has nothing to worry about me. Jaron Rose, on the other hand, if he wins that belt, I am going to be some perturbed. And I'll tell you, I'm going to be coming at him with all I have. Oh, uh, here we oh. go. Ref calling for the bell. There we go. And it looks like both Jaron Rose and Rob Starton are ready to go. I'm sorry, Tom Steele is not used to ringing the bell here. Our ring bell guy called in sick today. And like I was saying, the this top match will be for the top rope championship wrestling heavyweight belt. The official uh, standings as found on the SteeltownProWrestling.ca website are Ike Idol, Chi Chi Cruz, Sharon Rose, Rob Stardom, and then the champion, Matt Fairlane. TRCW champ Rob Stardom, uh, I'm guessing anybody who holds that strap has the number one spot in the division behind the champ, Matt Fairlane. That's true. You know, uh, any wrestler in this territory right now can uh, can win all three of those belts. Can have all three belts on their person at any one yeah. time. Jaron Rose with a nice rollover and reverses the hammerlock. Showcasing a bit of his technical skill there. And a nice knee drop right on the trapezius. 
Oh, and then he goes for the joint, the elbow joint right there. No, oh, Rob Sarton definitely in pain there because that does hurt. And there we go with a rollover. Rob Stardom reverses it. He's got a nice technician. I gotta hand it to him. He is one heck of a wrestler. And now he's key locked the arm and he's torquing it. Not many people know this about Rob Stardom, but uh, he was an amateur champion at one time. Yeah, at the provincial rev level. And I'm sure that some of you may not be uh, familiar with that. Uh, I know we've got a few fans in the States, and uh, that would be equivalent to being a, a state champion, if you will. That's right. But here we have Jaron Rose takes it back, and it looks like he's melding some technical skill with brute force. Jaron Rose getting the crowd into the beating he's given Rob. Really working that arm. Big leg drop. <laughs> Jaron Rose. Whip into the turnbuckle. As Jaron Rose taking too much time here. No, he comes in. He pulls in. it off. He pulls it off. I thought for sure Jaron was, uh, there was too much time in between and Rob was going to get his wits about him. <laughs> Rob starting to get into that corner. Jaron Rose just stalking behind him. I think he's looking for Marius to tag. I think so. That uh, Big arm drag. It looked like he was kind of lost when there was nobody in the corner. And Jaron Rose right back to that arm. Jaron just twerking on that arm. Boy, that elbow can only take so much pressure before it snaps. And there's Rob Storm uh, complaining to the ref that uh, Jaron used the hair to pull him down there. I, w I wouldn't be surprised. Jaron Rose just reefing on that arm. It almost looked like Jaron was kind of stunned that uh, Rob Stardom hasn't given up yet. And now Rob Stardom is just lighting Jaron Rose up. Snap, Marin, here comes the kick. Oh, big kick to the back. It looks like he's gonna. That one would have went straight through the uprights if he was in football. And a nonchalant pin just nets him a one count. That's more like a slap in the face to his opponent. That's beautiful stuff. And here comes Jared with a big back. shot in the gut. Another one. And another for good measures. And another. Reversal by Reverse Rob Stardom. Elbow. Big elbow. Elbow right in the mouth. And there's Rob Stardom resorting to the choke. Big boot to the gut by Rob Stardom. I'm not sure if he caught the gut or just ribs on that one. I'm sure that you've had a shot like that a few times over your years oh, in the ring. I've had a few of those, yes. And you know just how much that'll take out of you. And a boot, big boot to the side of the head. Well, that'll take the wind out of you. I hell, sometimes it can even break your ribs. And uh, a boot like that, if they go in toe first, you're done. Those floating ribs break like, like twigs. And then just for good measure, he kicked him on the head. Well, and his head up draped across the apron there. You do what you got to do, brother, and when you're holding the belt, it doesn't matter what you do. The only thing that matters is holding on to that gold, baby. The only way you can lose a belt is by pinfall or submission. 
And Rob Stardom knows that better than anybody else, I'm Jerry sure. Jerry with a big elbow. And a big sunset flip off the second one, rope. Two. That's Jaron only a count. Oh, and the drop kick to the knee. I've seen that in almost every one of Rob Stardom's matches. It's very effective. It works very well. It's almost like he does it out of frustration sometimes. But you know, his opponent, they usually know that it's coming, they just don't know when, so they can't prepare for when that knee, that, uh, knee drop. That's yeah. true, and that's the same with most of Rob Stardom's offense. They know it's coming, they're just not sure when. Another boot to the knee. And I think that's what makes a, a competitor like Rob Stardom that dangerous, because any one of the things he does, he can land at any moment. Banging that knee up against the ring apron. Now it looks like he's going to wrap it around the post. Yes, sir. And for a competitor like Jaron Rose, he's used to using his power. And when you got the legs taken out from under you, there's really not that much power All left. All you have is upper body strength after that. Rob Stardom just reefing on that leg around the post. The crowd don't know what to make of this. Jaron Rose out of the ring. Rob Stardom hanging over him like a vulture. Big chop. Oh, and from this vantage point, I can see the handprint on Jaron's back when he was rolled into the ring there. Big knee. Right above the eye. If it wasn't for those pads, Jaron Rose would be opened up. He'd be bleeding like a stuck pig. And I'm pretty sure that if Rob Stardom had aimed it right at the nose, it wouldn't matter with those pads in the way. No, that's very true. I can't see the actual submission that he's got him in there, uh, Ron. Uh, can you from your angle? Uh, it's just an arm lock. He hasn't quite got a key locked, but... Uh, Whip to the corner, Big and a double line. clothesline. Both men are knocked down. Uh, here we've got a double count. There's double counting. They're at four, Ron. Fans are calling for Jaren to get up first. They're both getting up uh, back together. Jaren with a big boot. And a two count. Big buff line body cross. Yeah. And another two count. That was a nice cross body into a lateral press there. And uh, looks like Jaron sensing a win isn't too far away here. Another two count. Jaron Rose is now getting frustrated. This is where he will, this is where he can make some tremendous mistakes just Ooh. like that. Yeah. You got to keep your head on you. When you can't pin your opponent, you got to keep your head straight and just focus on that prize. You, you, can't, you can't lose it. The moment you lose focus with a, a guy like Rob Stardom, that's the end of it for you. Yeah, you might as well just hang him up and go home. But it looks Rob like Stardom back on that leg. Looks like Rob Stardom is looking to punish Jaron Rose for having the audacity of challenging him. The reason why the ref is counting, Jaron's back is on the mat, and if both his shoulders are touching that mat, it is a pen. Yeah, every time. Oh, there we've got Jaron just kicked out of it. We're both down again. I think I can see a welt on Jaron's back from this matchup. Jaron Rose is beating on Rob's head, whips him in, big clothesline. And another clothesline to the face this time. And a big scoop slam 
sits out and gets the legs. And another two count. <laughs> Rob starting, Jim Rose in the corner. A nice. Rob reverses. A bunch of reverses. Oh, oh and the there's the knocked ref. out. And Jaron doing the same thing, Gigi. Oh, did. look at we've there got we go Marius. Again. Marius. Marius coming in. Grabs the belt. Oh, there's Chi Chi Cruz. Chi Chi Cruz. Oh, caught a nice right cross right in the mouth. Oh, and, and there Chi -Chi we go. Cruz nails Rob Stardom with the belt. Chi Chi Cruz just leveled the playing field. Unbelievable. And then there's a two count. And your winner and new TRCW champion, is that the decision? No, the match will continue. Oh, looks like we've got a bit of confusion. Yeah, two count. We had a bit of confusion with two refs in the ring there. Rob Stardom going for the backslide, going for the backslide. Two, didn't. Two count on Jaron Rose. Rob Stardom did not drive with the legs. Oh, he's going for his brain buster. And Rob oh, Stardom like got up. He's going up to the top, going for a flying elbow. Rob Stardom misses with that elbow. Both men are down. Both men are hurting. Both men are tired. And Who's going to come out on top, Ron? That is the question to be answered in a momentarily. Yeah, the first man to his feet will be in a serious advantage here. Rob Stardom just nailed him with a head, but takes his armband off. RKO by Jaron Rose. Will that be it? A three, Jaron Rose. A three count. Three count. Jaron Rose just won the TRCW championship. Matt Farrelly. You've got some you've got some title? My waist looks awfully empty. You see you got these belt loops, but there's nothing in between them. So what I'm looking is for a belt to hold up these gorgeous pants of mine and to wrap around this luscious waist. And tonight I'm gonna beat you. And for that, I'm not doubtful, because I'm Ravenous Randy and I'm more than a mouthful. Ravenous Randy, you're the cock of the walk where you come from. I've beaten every man that has come up against me in the last year of me being the SPW heavyweight champ. You're not going to do anything different than they did. You're just going to walk out of here a loser. I think we'll need a bit more sound here. First time, not the second time. All right. The following contest is the main event of the evening, and it will be for the Steel Town Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Championship. Introducing first the challenger at a weight of 225 pounds from Calgary, Alberta, Canada, Ravishing Randy Myers. Champion, as uh, as I'm led to believe, you. it's not it's not ravishing, it's ravenous. And you see, I may be late, but I'm never tardy. I'm the undisputed life of the party. And tonight, I'm gonna walk away your new champion, and I'm gonna be the no, no, no. Listen, shut your mouth while I'm talking, you ugly freaks. I'm gonna beat him so quick. Chip, chop, chip. I'm now introducing your Steel Town Pro Wrestling Heavyweight Champion at a weight of 225 pounds from Selkirk, Manitoba, Canada. Magnificent Matt Fairley.
making a late change in matchup. And I can't believe he would sign his name on a dotted line for a championship wrestling uh, a match for, for the championship, of course. That's what I'm trying to say. Against an opponent that he hardly knows. Ah, oh, looks like Matt Fairling was taunting Ravenous Randy. And I'm, from what I hear, Ravenous Randy is on his way down south shortly. Well, let's just see if he uh, has what it takes to survive down there. And the real question is whether or not Ravenous Randy will defeat Matt Fairlane tonight and take that title down to Florida Championship Wrestling. And we all know what going down to Florida Championship Wrestling means. That you're on your way to the big leagues. That's right. And uh, if he does, uh, if he brings a championship there, and he can hold it down there, boy, this boy will be big someday. But like you'd say it, Matt Fairling is an undefeated champ. Look at Randy was trying to take out a little girl there. Yeah, it looked like he had sidestepped uh, one of the fans there. The fans uh, getting in his face. Well, you got to admit that the uh, Stony Mountain fans here are... Uh, the birdie into the show, they really enjoy it and they want to be a part of it. I think I just made myself sick. Plants the knee squarely, squarely in the hamstrings and the ligaments of the knee. And there's Matt Fairling questioning the ref for his lack of authority in the match. Well, this referee that they have right now, I mean, everybody is walking all over him. You know what? I'd be surprised to see him back in the ring doing any type of matches. I think this, I think this kid is better off just uh, uh, loading up the ring. But Ravenous Randy was able to take advantage of that distraction that Matt Fairling had. And now he is firmly in control. I'm not sure if he even got a one count there, but... Into the turnbuckle. Randy choking him? Yeah, he's choking him. He's choking him good there. Clean break. And a solid European uppercut knocks Matt Fairling off his feet. Ah, uh, Randy dancing in the ring, baby. Wasting time. I'm pretty sure that uh, you've got a bone to pick for that one. But a guy's choke on Matt Fairlane. Matt Fairlane just uh, reeling in pain and trying to get his breath. I think I just heard somebody in the crowd call Ravenous Randy a prairie chicken. Well, with that hairdo, you never know, right? I don't know what I mean, you... We used to, the, the couple of shows ago, we had an owl, didn't we? Yeah, we did. We carry the barn owl. There you go.
Ah, uh, there we go. <laughs> Off the ropes. Matt Friendly going for a back. Oh. And now we've got Ravenous I Randy. I say that that was three. This referee is just an absolute tard. I'm pretty sure. I don't mean that disrespectfully from any of the mentally uh, challenged people out there, but this guy is just horrible. I'm pretty sure that Dale Barnett and the uh, Silton Pro Wrestling Refing Committee is going to have a few words for this ref. Oh, there we got Ravenous Randy going for a superplex, but Matt Fairlane's fighting back, pushes Ravenous Randy down. Matt Fairlane misses the elbow drop off the second. I think he was more worried about the ceiling being too low than uh, what his opponent was doing. Yeah, Matt Fairlane's usually going off the top rope, and uh, I'm pretty sure that the ceiling would not allow that. And a big... Whoa, that looked like a scoop slam, but it turned into something completely different. Matt Fairley and foot on the ropes. What was on the rope? Your, your new champion, Wendy Myers. All right, we've got TB Hump coming out. I'm pretty sure that, uh, holy smokes, I think somebody just spat on Ravenous Randy. Restart the match. This foot was on the ropes. I've never seen anything quite like this before. One referee challenging another referee. Oh, there's... Wins 